guys, it's a lovely day in Dortmund and we are approaching the Sim Racing Expo. For those who could not attend uh, the Sim Racing Expo this year in 2024, maybe um, some highlights from that venue. I've been visiting the trade fair uh, today on the first day. And once you enter the trade fair, um, you will see, let's say, that uh, there are a lot more companies showing off um, their products compared to last year. So, and for me still, the best show of the trade fair is Azatec. Yeah? And we have to acknowledge that Azatec was also there and uh, contributing when no other company was there. Even in last year, this was the highlight of the trade fair. And I pretty much like the, um, the uh, little changed approach to the trade fair they are having this year. So they are still showing all of their products and you still have plenty of uh, possibilities to try out. But um, it's more cozy, it's more um, personal, a lot of uh, stuff um, asking um, uh, on what you would like to know and showing things. Um, so this is um, for sure something we should acknowledge uh, because the company is putting a lot of uh, investment into uh, the trade fair appearance. For me, personally, the best innovation you can see at this year's um, Sim Racing Expo is clearly from Bavarian SimTech. It's, a, I would say, a small company I, I've seen the first time in Nuremberg two years ago and they had um, released their first wheel um, yeah, two years ago, but now they have advanced and I pretty much am into the new way how they deal with the displays on that wheel, not the screen itself, but the thing called adaptive beam tech. And this is that as per car configuration, you can alter the lookout of these um, knobs and the displays and this is pretty cool so it's configurable and uh, to me it brings things to the next level more to a real realism and realistic feel of a race car also i have seen this button box okay you could say hey button boxes we have seen them all and maybe people are using the elgato stream deck yes for sure no problem but i do like the uh, look and feel because it's um yeah a little bit looking like an LMP2 car and also there they have the um, rotaries where you can make certain settings and um, this is actually not too bad because um, the um, setup is quite smart you have a USB-C hub uh, in the back of the product and it comes with a mounting so that you can easily mount that to your sim rig but for me, personally, the biggest surprise is that we do see um, a kind of a trade fair appearance from Fanatec. Of course, we all know what has happened or is still happening to the company um, with all the changes they went through. And compared to last year, yeah, this was really a very astonishing appearance to the trade fair. Of course, the Bentley wheel, we are seeing this one, I guess, since ages on the Sim Racing Expo but they are even showing some new products and this is so good to see because Fanatec to my um, definition is a key player um, for all sim racers uh, that are about to race with different platforms but also they want to make the first steps into I would say professional sim racing so it would, would be a shame if they wouldn't be around anymore and as you can see here, um, the trade fair booth is by far um, way more uh, appealing than, than last year. Um, and you can see all of the products, you can uh, get a grip onto them. And this is a new product they are showing. This is the CSL Elite steering wheel Porsche Vision GT. And really it's, um, it felt really nice. So, um, and it, it looks quite decent though. Um, I really like that product and uh, for those who are running Fanatec gear, it's definitely a product uh, to have a look at. So as said, I'm super happy that Fanatec is still around and a big player of the trade fair. 
and on the Fanatec booth, and maybe this is um, what you are up to at uh, the Sim Racing Expo as well, is the, I would say, um, the box. The, the box uh, that you will see where Assetto Corsa Evo is uh, displayed. Um, you can see from the outside uh, and there will be different streamers um, streaming um, and showcasing this, uh, this game. Um, it's in a pre-alpha um, version available and uh, but it's, it's good to just see a first impression and um, definitely worth also visiting the streams of the colleagues that they will be showing um, from the trade fair. So I guess uh, this booth will become quite crowded and uh, there will be a lot of fingerprints on that uh, uh, glass screen that is separating the trade fair from the demo room um, where streamers will stream live from the trade fair. But all in all, I think it's uh, pretty decent to see um, the future of sim racing, um, the continuation of the uh, Assetto Corsa um, um, saga, and um, uh, for all of those attending, this is nice. And talking about a show, there is some motor sound in the, the trade fair hall, so it's really nice to see. So come step by and have a look at all the other videos.